So police chiefs call for decriminalization of personal drug use. Canada's police chiefs are calling for decriminalization of personal drug possession, of personal possession of illicit drugs as the best way to battle substance abuse and addiction. The Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police is proposing increased uh, access to, to health care, treatment, and social services to divert people away, away from the criminal justice system. This would apply to people possessing a small amount of illicit drugs for personal consumption. The Trudeau government has already legalized recreational use of, of marijuana with the goal of keeping pot out of the hands of young people and denying profits to organized criminals. Canada continues to grapple with the fentanyl crisis and a poisoned drug supply that has devastated communities and taken thousands of lives, lives, said Chief Constable Adam Palmer of Vancouver, the association president. We recommend that enforcement for possession give way to an integrated health-focused uh, approach that requires partnerships between police, healthcare, and all levels of government. The chiefs say uh, diversion would improve the health and safety outcomes for drug users while reducing property crime, repeat offenses, and the demand for drugs in communities. They urge uh, creation of a national task force to research uh, drug policy reform, specifically looking at Section 4.1, of the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act covering simple possession. The Office of uh, Health Minister Patty ha Hadju did not respond to a request for comment. Enforcement and judicial law uh, efforts must continue to, to target trafficking and the illegal pr production and importation of drugs to choke off the supply of harmful substances uh, coming into communities, the chief says, or the chiefs say. But the traditional role of frontline policing has fundamentally shifted to harm reduction when interacting with people experiencing addiction or mental health problems, Palmer said in a statement. Frequently, our officers are the point of first contact and the ones who will assist individuals in assessing appropriate services uh, and pathways of care. The, she the chief's uh, recommendations flow from findings of a special committee to study the decriminalization of illicit drugs and its impact on public uh, safety. We must adopt new and innovative approaches if we are going to uh, disrupt the current trend of drug overdoses impacting communities across Canada, the committee says. The committee report says, merely arresting individuals for simple possession of illicit drugs has proven to be ineffective. Research from other countries who have boldly chosen to take a health rather than an enforcement-based approach to problematic drug use, have demonstrated positive results. So I don't know. Um, maybe it's actually worth a try. Maybe it's actually worth a try. Like, I don't like the fact that there's certain drug users out there that either because they're under the influence of drugs or because they're so addicted to those drugs that uh, they're looking to financially subsidize their drug habit that some of them do turn to serious and sometimes violent crimes in the name of uh, their drug habit. 
but you know it, this, the current system doesn't seem to be working I mean drugs are a huge huge problem right across Canada I think pretty much I don't think there's a community across Canada that's not affected by uh, by drug addicts and the actions of drug addicts so I don't know maybe this is worth a try if it has worked in some other communities then maybe it's worth a try here in Canada as well too.